Hello guys, welcome to this noted tutorial. Today we will be exploring how to handle errors effectively in a noted application. In this flow, we will generate intentionally errors, catch them and log them both in summarized and detailed manner. Additionally, we will be displaying this logs and dashboard for each monitoring. This tutorial will help you understand how to manage and visualize errors in your noted projects, ensuring you can maintain robust and reliable applications. This flow basically includes nodes that intentionally generate errors, catches these errors and logs them in two ways. A summary log that aggregates similar errors and an individual log that keeps a record of each error occurrence. The flow also displays the logged errors in a dashboard. Let's look into the nodes used here. Beginning with the inject node. These nodes used to manually trigger part of the flow. There are four inject nodes named inject 1, inject 2, inject 3 and 4. Each inject node triggers a different part of the flow to simulate various error conditions. Function nodes Error 1, Error 2, Node Warning and Node Errors These nodes intentionally create error for demonstration purpose. Error 1 and Error 2 These nodes set a variable foo to null and then try to access foo.length which will throw an error because null does not have a length property. Node.warn This node use warn to log a warning message. Node.error This node sets message payload to error content and then use node.error to log an error message debug nodes. These nodes display the output of these previous nodes in the debug pan. There are named error 1 debug, error 2 debug, node 1 debug and node error debug. Each function node's output is wired to debug node to show the results or the error in the debug tab. Catch node. This node catch errors through by the specified nodes. It is configured to catch errors from the function node. Error 1, Error 2, Node Warning, Node Error Function Nodes Aggregate Error Collections This nodes collect and aggregates the error. It keeps a summary of error including how many times each error occurred and the last time it happened. The errors are stored in a flow variable error summary. Function Node Individual Error Collections This node collects individual error occurrence. It maintains a list of all errors with each error recorded as a separate entity. These errors are stored in a flow variable error all. Now Template Nodes These nodes format the collected errors into HTML table for display. There are two template nodes for summary and individual error logs. They convert the error data into HTML table format. UI template nodes. These nodes display the HTML table generated by the template nodes on the node dashboard. The summary and individual error logs are shown in two separate dashboards with jared file node. This node create a CSV file of the aggregated error summary. It is triggered by another inject node that simulates the end of the logging period or a request to save the log. Flow execution Error Generating errors You can trigger errors manually using the inject node. For example, clicking the inject node connected to error 1 will cause error 1 to execute which will then throw an error. Catching an errors. The catch node will catch these errors and send them to the aggregated error, collecting and individual error collection nodes. Logging errors. The aggregated errors collects 
node update a summary of errors, counting occurrence and recording the last occurrence time. The individual error collection nodes logs each error occurrence separately. Displaying errors. The template node format these logs into HTML table. The UI template nodes then display this table on the dashboard. Resetting the logs. There is an inject node labeled reset logs that catch when triggered resets both the aggregated and individual error logs saving the logs to file. Another inject node triggers the creation of CSV file containing the aggregated error summary which is then saved to specified location. This flow provides a comprehensive demonstration of error handling in Node-RED including error generation, catching log, logging and displaying in a user-friendly format. It helps us to understand how to manage errors in a noted application effectively. So here is a demonstration of this flow. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Please check the description for complete playlist on Node tutorials. Also don't forget to check the flow code below in the description. If you want to learn how can we dynamically generate the excel file then check out the video showing in the right side in your screen. See you in that video. Bye.